Persian Cat vs Himalayan Cat What are the differences between these two cat breeds? Although Persians tend to be relaxed and easygoing, they also command an air of royalty. They may not be quick to hiss or scratch, but that doesn't mean they won't become annoyed when bothered by loud children or pets. The Himalayan, or Himi for short, is a Persian in Siamese drag, affectionate but discriminating. The Persian has a distinctive appearance, a large, round head, large, round eyes, a short nose, full cheeks, and small ears with rounded tips. The head is supported by a short, thick neck and a deceptively sturdy, muscular body, a type known as kabi. A Persian's legs are short, thick and strong with large, round, firm paws. The tail is short but proportional to the length of the cat's body. A long, thick, shiny coat with a fine texture completes the Persian's look. It's long all over the body and includes an immense ruff around the neck, a deep frill between the front legs, long ear and toe tufts, and a full brush, or tail. Persians can come in different looks. Some, known as peak face Persians, have an extremely flat face. Think twice about the breathing problems such a cat might have before deciding to get one. Doll face Persians are said to have a more old-fashioned appearance, with a face that is not as flat as the show Persian or the peak face Persian. Persians of all stripes stand out for their infinite variety of coat colors and patterns. Imagine, if you will, seven solid color divisions, white, blue, black, red, cream, chocolate and lilac, plus silver and golden division colors of chinchilla and shaded silver or golden and blue chinchilla and blue shaded silver or golden, and then there are the shaded, smoke, tabby, calico, particolor and bicolor divisions. That's not counting the various pointed patterns of the Himalayan. Eye color is related to coat color. For instance, white Persians have deep blue or brilliant copper eyes, other solid colored Persians have brilliant copper eyes, silver and golden Persians have green or blue-green eyes, and so on. In all respects but coat pattern, the Himalayan shares the Persian's sweet expression and soft round lines. It has a large, round head, large, round eyes, a short nose, full cheeks, and small ears with rounded tips. The head is supported by a short, thick neck and a deceptively sturdy, muscular body, a type known as kabi. A Himalayan's legs are short, thick and strong with large, round, firm paws. The tail is short but proportional to the length of the cat's body. A long, thick, shiny coat with a fine texture completes the Himalayan's look. It's long all over the body and includes an immense ruff around the neck, a deep frill between the front legs, long ear and toe tufts, and a full brush, or tail. The Himalayan is bred in the following point colors, chocolate, seal, lilac, blue, red, cream torty, blue cream, chocolate torty, lilac cream, seal lynx, blue lynx, red lynx, cream lynx, torty lynx, blue cream lynx, chocolate lynx, lilac lynx, chocolate torty lynx and lilac cream lynx. The body is various shades of white to fawn with color only on the facial mask and the feet, ears and tail. Unlike the Persian and the exotic, the Himalayan's eyes come in only one color, a deep, vivid blue. Himalayans come in different looks, known as extreme and traditional. Extreme Himalayans, those seen in the show ring, have a flatter face, which may come with breathing problems. Cats with a traditional look have a more old-fashioned appearance, with a face that is not as flat and a nose that is set lower on the face with more of a break, permitting easier breathing. They are registered by the Traditional Cat Association. Hello. This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. The dignified and docile Persian is known for being quiet and sweet. She is an ornament to any home where she can enjoy sitting in a lap, surely her rightful place, being petted by those who are discerning enough to recognize her superior qualities, and playing house with kind children who will gently comb her hair, will her around in a baby buggy, then serve her tea at their parties. Persians are affectionate but discriminating. They reserve their attention for family members and those few guests whom they feel they can trust. Loud environments aren't a Persian style, they are sedate cats who prefer a serene home where little changes from day to day. With large, expressive eyes and a voice that has been described as soft, pleasant and musical, Persians let their simple needs be known, regular meals, a little playtime with a catnip mouse or feather teaser, and lots of love, which they return tenfold. This is one cat who is unlikely to climb up your curtains, jump on your kitchen counters, or perch on top of your refrigerator. She is perfectly happy to rule her domain from the floor or more accessible pieces of furniture. When you are at work or are busy around the house, the Persian is content to adorn a chair, 
sofa or bed until you are free to admire her and give her the attention she willingly receives but never demands. Like the Persian, the Himalayan is sweet, docile and quiet. She is an ornament to any home where she can enjoy sitting in a lap, surely her rightful place, being petted by those who are discerning enough to recognize her superior qualities, and playing house with kind children who will gently comb her hair, will her around in a baby buggy, but not dress her up, let her chase an interactive toy, then serve her tea at their parties. Himalayans are affectionate but discriminating. They reserve their attention for family members and those few guests whom they feel they can trust. Loud environments aren't a Himalayan style, they are sedate cats who prefer a serene home where little changes from day to day. With large, expressive eyes and a voice that has been described as soft, pleasant and musical, Hemis let their simple needs be known, regular meals, a little playtime with a catnip mouse or feather teaser, and lots of love, which they return tenfold. This is one cat who is unlikely to climb up your curtains, jump on your kitchen counters, or perch on top of your refrigerator. She is perfectly happy to rule her domain from the floor or more accessible pieces of furniture. When you are at work or are busy around the house, the Himalayan is content to adorn a chair, sofa or bed until you are free to admire her and give her the attention she willingly receives but never demands. The most important thing to understand about caring for a Persian is the need for daily grooming. That long, beautiful coat doesn't stay clean and tangle-free on its own. It must be gently but thoroughly combed and brushed every day, and regular bathing, at least once a month, is a good idea. The most important thing to understand about caring for a Himalayan is the need for daily grooming. That long, beautiful coat doesn't stay clean and tangle-free on its own. It must be gently but thoroughly combed every day, and regular bathing, at least once a month, is a good idea. Excessive tearing can be a problem in this breeds, so wipe the corners of the eyes clean daily to prevent under-eye stains from forming. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Another factor to consider is the litter box issue. Litter may become lodged in a Persian's paws or coat. If the cat and the litter box aren't kept scrupulously clean, they are more likely than most to just stop using the box. It's a good idea to keep them as an indoor-only cat. They are not a scrapper and would fare poorly against other cats, dogs, coyotes and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors. Letting a Persian and Himalayan outdoors just means that much more time spent grooming the cat. Cats who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. Persians and Himalayans aren't the best choice for a house full of boisterous children and dogs, but they have no objection to being the object of a gentle child's attentions or to rubbing along with a friendly dog who doesn't chase them or otherwise cause them anxiety. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.